This is a quick demo of the DevCon 2019 Hackathon project related to SDK 3.0 to 3.2.4.0 upgrades. So I've got the Alfresco SDK project open in GitHub and one of the first things that we did uh, during the hackathon after everyone got familiar with SDK 4.0 was uh, we documented the upgrade steps. So if you have a 301 project and you need to upgrade it to the 4.0 structure, those steps are documented and um, we filed the pull request and Ole approved the pull request and merged it and now uh, that's part of the documentation. So it's just in the Alfresco SDK and right now it's on the 4.0 branch and then it's under docs, advanced topics and then the file is called upgrading.md. So if you want to manually upgrade your projects, you can use these steps to do that. But if you have a lot of projects, you may not want to spend all that time uh, manually moving files around. And so uh, the hackathon team that I was uh, with, we created a new project called the Alfresco SDK Upgrader. And this project will do a lot to automate the move from SDK 3.0.1 to 4.0.0. So the way this works is you just check the project out uh, locally and then you just run the script and tell it where your project lives. So up here in my terminal window I've got uh, a 3.0 project. We can tell that. We could look at the uh, the POM XML but if you are familiar with the SDK this looks like a you could just tell by looking it's a <clears throat> 3.0 project. If I run a Maven clean here, we can, that's a quick way to just see the uh, uh, name of the project is S AIO SDK3. Okay, so um, let's switch to another terminal window here and uh, run the upgrade script. So I've checked out the uh, SDK upgrader project and now I'll just run upgrade. And right now, the only thing that I need to tell it is uh, exactly where the project is that I want to upgrade. Now, what it's doing is it's checking out or generating a 4.0.0 project into a hidden directory into the root of this project. So actually, if I do an lsla, I can see that. Uh, so it's in this base SDK project directory. And it uses that as a source to grab files to uh, copy into the directory, uh, the project that you're upgrading. Um, now, um, before we start doing that, we do a backup of your project. So uh, your project that you're upgrading gets copied into the dot backups directory. So if we do something that you need to undo, uh, you can just grab it out of that directory. All right, so <clears throat> it actually doesn't take long to run. We just are basically copying some files over and deleting some files that you don't need anymore. So now if I do an ls on this directory, now I can see that there are a couple of more modules that have been added. So the, um, the Docker modules have been added, and uh, as you may know, the SDK 4.0 is very, uh, uh, you know, it's based on Docker and Docker Compose. So now when I, if I did a Maven clean here, now I can see this is a 4.0 project. And that means I can do a run. And now my uh, project is starting up using Docker. So that's it. There are several to-dos uh, related to this script. Um, it only works on Linux or Mac OS at the moment. It um, only works for the all-in-one arch archetype. It, it wouldn't take much work to make it work for the um, for a repo only or a share only based project, but for right now it's just the all-in-one archetype. Um, but if you'd like to help out, uh, improve it, we we also need to do um, uh, better merging of the POM files. And uh, so anyway, if any of that's interesting to you, just uh, grab that project and send us some pull requests. Thanks.